Hello, Solve leaders. We are excited to work with you to set up volunteer engagement opportunities in your community. This video will provide step-by-step -step instructions and tips on how to create your own event through our website, so you can start recruiting volunteers in our calendar. Now that you are a Solve leader, you are able to log in and access our leader portal, which includes all the resources you need. We've included an easy button here to create an event, but before you go into that form, we do recommend that you download Solve's event description template here to help guide you. Um, so once you're ready to create an event, we will just click on this button right here. And um, now you'll be taken to a screen that prompts you on several different items on how to create your events. Um, the first being opportunity name. One thing you'll want to think about here, um, for this example, we'll say Seaside Beach Cleanup, um, but you'll want to make sure that you put the activity and the location in the title. And then also, if you speak a second language, uh, think about including that information here as well. So if you speak Spanish, you might want to say, um, say habla espanol as well. So you can let folks know that that's a component of this event. You'll then want to move on to the event description. And for the purposes of time, I have created a um, sample description, which I am going to paste into here. Uh, so one thing you want to think about for this is you want to clearly describe what you'll ask your volunteers to do and where they will be working. Are there multiple tasks for your volunteers? Is this event part of a larger project? What is the why behind the event? Um, and what's really what's the goal? What are volunteers um, hoping to achieve during this? This is your place to put that. So um, you can really write anything that you want in the description, but I kept it simple of, of what it is, joining us all for a beach cleanup day, the why litter and marine debris can be harmful, and the action to so spend a day at the beach and help us keep this area clean and beautiful for all. Then you'll want it to go into more of the details of the project. So you can put in um, date and time, you can make it bold here, uh, Saturday, March 20th, the meeting location. Uh, you'll want to have the name of the location as well as address if you have it. Uh, it's good to put in a Google map link, nearby landmarks, any public transportation options you are aware of as well. Then you'll want to tell folks what is provided. So for this event, there are heavy duty litter bags, gloves and litter grabbers provided, what to bring. Um, for this, it's uh, because it's still happening during the pandemic, we, we are asking volunteers to wear face coverings, comfortable clothes to choose to stay safe, a fill, fillable reusable water bottle, um, and then you can recommend other things that they could bring, like a bag or a bucket to help with sustainability efforts. If they are um, working on a restoration area and you're doing, you know, plantings or uh, ivy removal or something like that, you may want to encourage folks to wear long sleeves, to bring a backpack, and if it's over two hours, maybe to bring snacks or a lunch as well. Uh, parking information, so um, information on whether parking is available, if so, where, if there's a fee for parking, um, and maybe some links to public transportation uh, if, they're, if that's available. Uh, note whether bathrooms are available as well. The accessibility, um, accessibility around your event. So is your event ADA accessible? What are the physical requirements for volunteers? Things like how long do people need to be on their feet? Are there any barriers to mobility like hills or uneven ground that volunteers should be aware of? Um, for this event, we do have beach wheelchairs available for reservation through the City of Seaside website. So we can put in a link to that and folks can reserve a, a wheelchair if they need to. And then you'll want to put your contact information if you feel comfortable doing that. Note that event volunteers who already have a Solve account can still email you through their volunteer portal, even if you do not include that here. However, if someone doesn't have a volunteer account, they're just looking at this event, they have questions about it before signing up as a volunteer, um, this is where they can find that information ahead of time and contact you. So then next you'll want to uh, identify the opportunity coordinator. For most people, that will be your name right here. But if you do work for an organization that has several solve leaders associated with it, you may have a list of several names. So if somebody else from your organization is leading it and they're on here, you can put them as the coordinator. 
Then you'll want to put your location in. If you've led an event through your organization before, those locations will likely pop up on this list. If you haven't, or this is a new location, you can add a location in the next step. So you'll just click this blue button. And then you'll uh, mention your primary impact area from the list below. This is a litter cleanup, but you may have an invasive plant removal, native planting, or maintenance project. If you have a secondary impact area, you can note that here as well. Um, you'll want to identify the minimum age. This is without an adult present. So for most projects, that can be 13. But if you've got some safety issues at your project or heavy equipment, things like that, you may want to raise that up to 16 or 18. Um, and then minimum age with the adult. So for this project, we're happy to have babies out. Um, so any, any age really is fine to come out as long as there's adult supervision. You want to put your max attendance in here. We'll say 25 for this event. And then you can select your program area if you know what it is. Otherwise, you can just leave this blank. Um, program areas include Adopt a Beach, if you're an Adopt a Beach coordinator, Adopt a River. Um, you'll know whether you have adopted one of, um, one of these areas and whether you're part of these programs. The Oregon Spring Cleanup happens in April. So if your event falls during that, it'll be part of this. The Beach and Riverside Cleanup happens in September. If your event happens during that, it'll be part of this program. Otherwise, it'll likely just be a Project Oregon event, which is year round. Once you're done with this, you will click um, next. But before I do one just uh, additional note, you are able to put in pictures into your description as well. So if you do have a picture that goes well with this, you can click the picture icon here um, and you can add a picture by browsing your desktop. But it's if you can't figure out how to do that, that's fine. We can actually put one in afterwards if you send it to us. So we'll click next. This is where you will put in your event location if it didn't come up on that list. Uh, so for the matter of time, we'll just put in a test location. Um, we'll say Seaside, um, Oregon. And I do not know the zip code, so I'm just gonna put in <laughs> the, our, our office zip code. Um, and then any special directions that you wanna give volunteers here, like public transportation and parking, you can also put in here. Then click Next. For uh, does this occur on a regular schedule, you will always want to click no, because if your event does happen monthly or weekly or whatnot, you will need to come back in and create a new event um, and click on a new form each time to get those into our system. So you will always click no here. You'll put in your date, um, which let's see, we said this one was going to be 3 2021. And then your start time and end time. So this will be 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then you'll click Create. And success, you've created your event through our website. Um, so what happens next is you'll come to this screen where you can review all of the information that you put in. Uh, you'll also be able to um, click on this button up here to see the opportunity on the public site. It is not live yet uh, until the, our staff in the back end get notified and we will look it over first. We'll make it public once we feel like it's ready to go. We'll contact you if we have any questions, um, but you will be able to click on this and see what your event will look like once it's on our calendar. Um, please let us know if you have any questions. We're here to help. Feel free to contact Solve anytime. And thank you again for being a Solve project leader.